Hey guys, it's Jeff, and today iOS 13 Beta 4 was released by Apple. If you are super pumped to see the fourth beta of iOS 13, let me know in the comment section down below, and also smash that like button. Also, get subscribed if you wanna stay up to date with all the iOS 13 content. I know I am super excited to see this update specifically because iOS 13 Beta 3 was kind of a disaster. Just a quick recap, iOS 13 Beta 3 came in two versions. The first version was almost almost unusable on my iPhone XS Max. Everything was super slow, there was a lot of bugs, and the device was almost unusable. The experience was actually quite awful. Now, Apple a week later followed that up with a version two of iOS 13 Beta 3, and that was a lot smoother of a performance, a lot smoother of a uh, kind of experience using my iPhone XS Max. Now, specifically with that version, not everything was fixed. I actually came across an LTE bug that was affecting me for a couple of days now where LTE would kind of switch on and off or it would be on and I would actually be able to access data on my device. So that was a super frustrating bug to be dealing with and hopefully that is solved in beta 4 here. I will definitely be checking for that. Now let's move on to beta 4 and talk a little bit more about that. The update size came in at around 699 megabytes for my iPhone 10s Max, 699.2 megabytes. So a fairly sized uh, update here for the fourth beta. And of course, I'll be checking for the bugs that we saw in beta 3, just to double check, see if those are gone in beta 4 here. But we'll also be taking a look at any possible new features. I am expecting to see just a few more new features as we continue out throughout the betas here, uh, specific to the older devices. That is, we might be seeing more new features with the iPhone 11 and 11 Max. But we'll just check for any new features and of course the UI changes that we always love to see. Of course involved with those UI changes might be some new icons for iOS 13 just to make it look a little bit more modern so I'll be checking for those as well. But guys yeah that is iOS 13 beta 4. Let's go ahead get it installed onto our device here and check out what's new in iOS 13 beta 4. Guys, go check out Clean My Mac X. It's absolutely amazing. I use it every day and I cannot say this enough, every Mac user needs this program. So go check it out. There's a link down below with more info and you can also go download it to try it out for yourself. Okay guys, so we finally got iOS 13 developer beta 4 loaded up onto both of our devices here and on the left, we have the second version of iOS 13 beta 3, and on the right, we have the newest version, that is iOS 13 beta 4. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the about screens here for both devices. Um, as I said, we got this update for the Tennis Max in at around 699.2 megabytes, so a fairly good size update here. And you can see that the build numbers have changed. So on the right, I'll list off our new build number. It's 17A. 5534F. And if we go down in this menu and check out uh, the modem firmware, you can see that the modem firmware has changed from 1.52.04 to an upgraded version of 1.53.02. So it looks like Apple is continuously upgrading the uh, modem firmware here to kind of get rid of those LTE issues and make sure that the LTE and data experience on your iPhone is just a little bit better more and more. Now let's go on to some more new features here. And I think that the biggest one here is actually found on the home screen. So if you 3D touch um, an item here, an app on iOS 13, beta 3 you can see that we have this menu here but now that you do it on beta 4 we have an entirely new menu and everything is the same but we have a rearrange apps on the bottom here and actually if you go to any icon and hit that button you will have an option to rearrange apps and as you may guess if you go ahead and tap that that just gets you into that mode where all the apps are shaking and you can go ahead and move around the apps but what is really interesting here is actually the style of which um, the menu have changed. So if you go into an app like um, uh, Music, if you go ahead and 3D touch that app on both, you can see that there are some some pretty major differences here. The menus at the top are much different. As you can see on the right here, um, it's just a little bit more in the corner. It's not spread out here like on the left. Um, so a more compressed menu option there. And if we go and do it for Safari, you can see here the menu shows up at around the same place, but it's just a little bit smaller. I do expect this to change over time, but I do welcome this change for now. It looks just 
just a little bit better and uh, a little bit more compact. It's not taking as much up on the screen. Now let's move on to uh, kind of a feature that you might have touched that you might have seen there. It's a uh, 3D touch is now back and uh, I'll go ahead and demonstrate it for you here. Um, 3D touch is definitely back. It feels a lot more smooth um, and accessible than what it was before. And if we go into the 3D touch menu and go that is in accessibility, go to touch and then 3D and haptic touch. Uh, you can actually adjust these and they will work accordingly. Previously it was working about half the time but now it actually works and you can go ahead and test it out on that little test panel there at the bottom. But this all works. The menu and 3D touch works on the iPhone XS Max. Just keep in mind this will probably be phased out with the newer devices coming out uh, later this year but for now if you have a 3D touch compatible device, it does work on iOS 13 beta 4. So that functionality is back. Now, speaking of functionality, the iPad Pro, the older iPad Pro models, um, like the 9.7 and 10.5 inch models, they now have USB functionality that is back. So you can go ahead and plug in a USB and you will be able to use that. Now let's move on back to the iPhone here and focus a little bit more about uh, kind of some changes and uh, features that we are seeing within the fourth developer beta. Now if we go into the widget page you can see that the edit button on the left is round and on the right here on beta 4 it is now more squared off uh, so just a little bit wider so we do have a different edit button here on the widget page in beta 4. Now, if we go into the settings app and then down onto the privacy menu, you can see that we have a pretty uh, big change here on how things are laid out. On the right here on beta four, you can see that things are just a little bit more spread out, less compact. Uh, so we're using a little bit more surface area here throughout the menu, and it's just a little bit more expanded in the privacy menu. Now, if you go into the iMessage app, uh, you will now actually see a new icon for voice memos. So if you start a message, um, you'll see that new icon there for voice menus. Brand new icon, I think it looks really great. Let me know in the comment section down below how you like that. Now, also in the uh, iMessage app and more specifically in the Animoji menu or the Memoji menu where you can customize your own Memoji, go ahead, check it out. There's actually a few more styles located in the hairstyle um, and uh, uh, hat section so go ahead check that out um, there are a little bit more options as far as hairstyles in uh, the Memoji menu here I won't go over all of them but you can go ahead check it out um, see what you like and that gives you just a little bit more customization with Memoji and uh, kind of makes the experience of iMessaging just a little bit better uh, moving on into the betas here now one thing I noticed when going on to beta 4 here was um, multitasking is actually really quick if you just look at the animation style um, when opening up uh, at the uh, multitasking, it's just a little bit faster and things are popping up just a little bit better. If we do it out on beta three here, um, you can see that the um, animation just a little bit slower, but on beta four, it's a little bit faster, which uh, does prove that the GPU performance has been slightly increased here in beta four. We'll talk a little bit about that later, but you can actually just see the visually, the performance has increased with multitasking and you can actually go throughout uh, the messages here and actually, um, or the multitasking tabs and actually go uh, throughout them just a little bit faster and it loads your data just that little bit faster. So um, definitely A plus for a little bit faster speed here on iOS 13 beta 4 specifically with multitasking. Now what I've also noticed in relation to speed and performance, again we'll talk about that in just a second, but I just wanted to show you visually here that we all the widgets um, in the, or all the control center widgets or control center modules actually are working a little bit faster. So if we open up the um, expanded Wi-Fi and Bluetooth menus um, and all these menus, they're actually working just a lot faster. Faster. So I'm really pleased to see this, that continuous development is going into um, this menu here and just things are working a little bit faster. So definitely go ahead and check it out. Let me know how your performance is uh, within the control center and more specifically with 3D Touch as a whole in the iOS 13 UI here, but it's actually working really well. And I'm really happy to see that 3D Touch is working and actually working just a little bit faster in places like the control center. So guys, those were the new 
new features and changes found within iOS 13 beta 4. If you have any comments, questions, or anything like that, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to get your thoughts on iOS 13 beta 4 and how you like it so far. If you have it installed onto your device, the developer beta version that is, let me know in the comment section down below how your experience has been. Uh, are you enjoying the kind of new experience of beta 4 and how is the battery life and bugs on beta 4 for you? Please list your device that you're actually using beta 4 on. Now let's move on to a little bit more about, about bugs and uh, speed and performance. As far as bugs go, I'm not experiencing the LTE bug that I was experiencing in both versions of beta 3. So that is very nice to see. Hopefully bugs are kept to a minimum here, but I'm not actually experiencing any so far. Even small UI bugs here and there, not experiencing those. Now let's move on to speed and performance because that is really where um, a heavy amount of focus was on iOS 13 beta 3 and Apple has continued to increase performance here in beta 4. I'm seeing about a 2 to 3 percent increase on the CPU performance. Uh, that is the single core um, performance is just up by a little bit but we mostly are seeing a major performance boost in the multi-core performance for the CPU. So it looks like we're getting a little bit more efficient here with the CPU and just a little bit more speed as well. Now let's move on to GPU or compute performance and that is where you will see the bulk of the UI experience where you're processing, you know, going throughout the UI of iOS 13, how smooth it is, how fast it is, uh, are there any lags or stutters. And uh, through that benchmark in Geekbench, we are seeing about a 3%, solid 3% increase in performance, which is really, really good considering we've gotten really good performance numbers over the past three betas here. So continuing performance here, and you can actually see it throughout the iOS 13 beta 4 experience. Everything is very smooth, very quick to open, and you can see that the animations for opening and closing apps are just super quick. And I really like that all the content is loading fairly fast going throughout um, at least the Apple stock apps in iOS 13 beta 4. Let me know in the comment section down below how performance is for you and what device you have. I'm specifically testing this on the iPhone XS Max and as well the iPad Pro, the newest generation iPad Pro. So of course we're dealing with the newest technology here but speed and performance is, is continuously going up uh, just through software updates which is really really nice. Now as far as any other benchmarks that we saw, uh, benchmarks are not the best way to judge a an iOS update version. They're kind of just, um, yeah, a benchmark, a something to look at to see how performance is um, outside of everything. But as far as the uh, pure performance just in usability, um, everything is going really, really well. I'm noticing that the performance has visually increased. And of course, we're getting a lot smoother performance here in beta four. So guys, yeah, that was the new features, changes, speed and performance numbers, and as well, just a little bit on um, bugs in beta four here. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this update video. If you want to go ahead and enjoy uh, the developer beta version four here, and you don't have the beta profile installed onto your device, there will be a link in the video description down below to the developer beta to build. But of course, I always recommend now that we have solid public beta versions that you update to the public betas instead of the developer betas. They're known to be a little bit more stable, a little bit uh, more bug free. So I definitely recommend those. If you want to go ahead and sign up for the public betas, go to the link in the video description down below. It's beta.apple.com. And there you can actually go ahead and sign up for the public betas on your Mac, iPad, iPhone, whatever device you have that will accept a public beta of iOS 13, iPadOS, uh, TVOS, and even Catalina, you can go ahead and sign up there and you'll get some pretty solid updates. So guys, thank you for watching this update video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to stay up to date with all iOS 13 news, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell button to get updates as soon as we release any content. So again, thank you all for watching and hopefully I'll be seeing you in some upcoming content. Peace.